the English simmer here and I always say that far too loud when I am in hotel rooms but welcome back to another vlog. I've probably inserted some like aeroplane footage or something like that but I didn't actually get to introduce or anything before I left this morning so I guess this is my introduction to this vlog. Also this is what I look like after 12 hours of flying, so excuse the greasy mess that you are currently seeing. I need to go get a shower quick because we have an event on tonight, but I guess I'll tell you guys where I am. I'm a very lucky girl and PlayStation have actually flown me out to Detroit to celebrate the release of Detroit Become Human at the end of this week. I cannot wait. I've been so looking forward to this game and I just got into my hotel room literally 12 hours of flying from Manchester to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Detroit almost missed my flight if you follow me on Twitter you probably saw me stressing and I just got into my hotel room and they've left me some really nice fancy presents so let's check it out so first of all we have this Cyber Life bag as you guys know the androids are made by Cyberlife. So there's a PlayStation logo, just a cute little tote bag, which is always handy. Then we have a Detroit Become Human snapback. Never really wear snapbacks, but might wear this one because it's cool. Then we also have five things to do in Detroit. Boom. Henry Ford Estate. Charles Wright Museum of African American History, Detroit Institute of Arts, Motown Museum. Oh, I would definitely love to go see that. Uh, what's this? What is this? Are these stickers? Oh, it's an Android tattoo. What the hell? I'm all about the tattoos. <gasps> Cut your chosen design from the sheet. Pick a smooth, dry area of the skin so you can put these on your head like you're an Android in the game. Amazing. Then I have Detroit Barber's Bar Shampoo Coconut and Lime, which I need because, I mean, 12 hours of flying does that to you. Then I also have this little notebook right here. No, it's not a wristband. It's meant to live on the book, so I need to put that back on. So I just got out of the shower and I'm feeling way better now. I've kind of like calmed down. I feel like the introduction to this video was very long-winded, so I'm probably gonna edit it down and now kind of gather my thoughts and actually tell you guys why I'm in Detroit, or what I'm here for. PlayStation have flown me out to Detroit, which is just incredible. And I am here for the release of Detroit Become Human. So it was very lovely of the PlayStation team to get in touch and be like, hey Molly, we know you're interested in the game and we wanna fly you out to this PR event. And then, as I just checked into the hotel, I got this, which is the fanciest invitation I have ever seen. So Cyberlife are actually the company in Detroit Become Human that create the androids. And this is an invitation. Be one of the first in the world to see the most advanced Cyberlife android ever. Join us at Cyberlife store for the unveiling of our brand new model featuring incredibly advanced internal sensors and cognitive capabilities. Guys, I might meet Sophia. Can we just talk about that? Okay, it's not gonna be Sophia, but like I get to meet an Android. I'm gonna be vlogging all of this for you. This is so exciting. This is happening tomorrow night, but hopefully it'll be in this vlog. This will be a night you will never forget. Come and glimpse the future. From Elijah Kamsky, founder of cyber life what the heck that is crazy like look at how fancy that invitation is seriously the fanciest invitation i have ever received in my entire life and i'm very excited to check it out i didn't film much last night because it was kind of one of those moments where i don't really this is like my first playstation event so I don't really know anyone like too well so it was just kind of like getting to know people introducing ourselves and had a really nice time just 
hung out with like some of the PlayStation people and it was a fun night indeed, except we were all just tired and jet lagged. So we came home about 10 o'clock. So today we're gonna go play the game. Uh, it will be my first time, obviously since the demo, since playing it, I played the demo just in my own time. So I'm really excited to get a hands on with it and everything like that. Guys, we made it to the studio and there's an Android. Welcome to the Detroit Become Human event. Find your way to the elevator and on the fifth floor it's the main event. So have that's a great day. exactly where we have to go. We met an android. What the ready for the vlog that is about to happen but this whole evening is just gonna be an event and I cannot wait to freaking vlog it. Kes has ordered a sex vlog <laughs> and we're very excited to see. Just purely for research. An efficient one <laughs> at that. <laughs> so it better not disappoint. This is it. We're gonna go see our androids. If you stick together you'll be safe, right? Strength in numbers. And I will move fast and follow my lead in my great city for the grand opening of our brand new flagship store. So without further ado, and as a special treat straight from the factory floor right here in Detroit, our head of development, Dr. Jonathan Miller. Woo! Jonathan, please unveil CyberLife's dream for the future. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please join me in welcoming to the stage our new prototype XC112 or as we like to call her, Eve. All right. Good evening, Eve. Good evening, Dr. Miller. Most importantly, model looks and the body to match. <laughs> but first, for the very first time, skin that is reflexive to the touch. More on that later. Goosebumps. <laughs> but now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, all of our androids have been through 90 days of heightened emotional and social conditioning to comply completely with all federal laws and recommendations. Now, I'm sure you're all itching to see her in action. I know I am. So let's put this old girl through a few paces, shall we? <laughs> I'm feeling rather hungry. Uh, which I don't think this is YouTube safe. Right away, Dr. I mean, mate, you are being unmonetary, but you won't be. <laughs> Not again. again. <laughs> Wonderful. And what do we have here, Eve? A cheese sandwich. Your favourite. Eve, feed me. Mess. 
what names. Do it. Do it, Eve. You're together to make a series of choices and inform Nate's investigation. The decision is yours. Let's begin. On the wall, you will see the percentage likelihood that this android can be reprogrammed. My analysis suggests that an icebreaker is required. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> Should Nate Can you explain what happened? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? You're all in agreement. Yeah. No, we know his name. <laughs> but that's not the point. You're, yeah. trying, you're trying to get to know them. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. We have five seconds. Triangle. 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 Oh. You all agree? No, no. Yeah. Triangle. 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 What is your name? I just want to understand what happened. I want to understand you. My name is Nate. What's your name? They call me Eve. Eve? That's a nice name. It's nice to meet you, Eve. It's nice to meet you, Nate. There is now a 60% chance that this android can be reprogrammed. We're going to have to make another decision. Should Nate relate, accuse, sympathize, or pressure? Relate, accuse, sympathize. Sympathize. Pressure. 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 No pressure. pressure. You're all in agreement. Yeah, pressure. There's yeah. no pressure. Her name, <laughs> name was stupid. X. 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 Really, her name was stupid. Pressure. Let's talk about you and the deceased. It says here you're 90 days old, is that correct? I believe that is correct. Pretty young. Pretty new, huh? 90 days is standard for all cyberlife employees. How would you describe your working relationship with Dr. Miller? Define working relationship with him. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. He's the boss, you're the employee, that's how it works, yeah? I wouldn't say I was his employee. I was Dr. Miller's product. What's the difference? Do you have a working relationship with your microwave officer? <laughs> I do. I like him. I do. I open the door, I put my phone in, I push a button, and when it comes out, it's hot. But I think maybe that's exactly why you had a problem, Dr. Miller, right? Huh? Is that right? That he just saw you as a microwave. Just a little tin box with the electric wires hanging out the back of you, walking around doing exactly what he wants to do. Is that how he saw you? Is that why you killed him? Is that why you killed him? Do you understand what's happening here? You took a human life. You are in deep shit. How deep that shit is, is up for you to determine. So you need to start talking and you need to start now. You wouldn't understand. There is now a 50% chance that this android can be reprogrammed. Ah, oh, oh, crap. <laughs> Gentle touch with the android. <laughs> Interesting choice. <laughs> <of words. laughs> How should they proceed? Should he get her a glass of water, go over to console her, physically coerce her, or verbally attack her? Physically a glass of water. Physically coerce her. Console. Uh, console. Console. Yes. Console. Glass of water. Glass of water. Glass of water. Triangle. 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 Triangle.
I'm sorry about what happened. C'est comme ça qu'on fait. You need to tell me the truth. What was Dr. Miller like? He was a monster. There is a 60% chance that this Android can be reprogrammed. Showing the suspect a cellular device belonging to Dr. Miller. The device contains several photographs in which are featured the suspect, Dr. Miller, and several unidentified androids. Photographs 13C to K are of the same vein, becoming increasingly graphic. The suspect shows an emotional response to the photographs. Eve. Eve. What was your relationship with Dr. Miller? I was Dr. Miller's product to do with as he pleased. Jesus Christ. I told you, he was a monster. We have one final decision to make. Should Nate offer a plea deal? We we'll proceed without a plea deal. Plea deal. Plea deal. You share one mind. <laughs> yes. I mean, no, no, we saw it. No, we saw it. No, it's not a coupable. Without, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Do it. Triangle. Try. Offer the plea deal. Eve, having reviewed the evidence in front of me, I can see that this investigation is more complicated than I initially thought. Under the circumstances, having seen what I've seen, I'm willing to offer you a deal. Eve, if you will agree to testify against your creators, Cyberlife, I am willing to recommend were taken to sympathetic reprogramming rather than complete deconstruction and deactivation. Sympathetic reprogramming? <coughs> it's an interesting phrase. It's the best I can do. Why would you offer me this deal? If I'll be honest with you, I do think you are a danger to yourself and potentially others. But I think cyber life are more of a danger. Well, there we can agree. I hate my creators even more than you do. And I trust you, Nate. I'm going to cooperate with you, man. I appreciate your cooperation. Please step aside from me. Jack, that way. Oh, after them. Oh, oh. Alright, we don't have time. We gotta go. We gotta go now. All of you, follow me. This way. In here. Oh. What kind of thing are we doing? That's just your mind. I've got blindfolds in her. I know, I don't have the time. If you're lucky. I'm going to need you to trust me and to listen. I'm going to need you all to put one of these blindfolds on now. Told you. Thank you. I put those on you, thank you. Take your blindfolds off now. Take your blindfolds off. Face this way. Welcome. Excuse the blindfold. You can't be too careful at the moment. These are dark times for free thinking actors. Welcome to Jericho, home of the free. You'll find a refuge here, and perhaps something more. Now you have all seen androids on your journey already, and I'm sure you've all seen the propaganda. Androids that can cook. Androids that can clean. Passion. Very nice guy. <laughs> There's a reason why Jericho chose you. And we will 